Well, hello and uh, welcome to this uh, Guy and Michael play stuff and talk nonsense. Michael from Oscar Pathfinder, thank you for joining me, as usual. Thank you, Ben. And as you can see, we're now in a different game, a new game that gets us very, very excited, doesn't it? Um, this is Dreadnought, which came out uh, a couple of days ago. And uh, yeah, well, I mean, we run the Windswift together, which hasn't yet come out yet. <coughs> <coughs> Uh, the Windswift, of course, is an RPG set in the Starfinder, uh, using the you, Starfinder system. You, you mean the Star Swift? What am I saying? You're saying the Windswift. I'm saying. The... <laughs> I was like, I was like, I'm fairly sure the Windswift's the out, Windswift's man. I feel been like out for a while. For a yes, while, yes. No, oh the Star God, Swift. The no, the Star, Star Swift. Swift. Sorry, yes. The Star, no, the, Star, the Star Swift is a project with a visionary direction, and. Uh, <laughs> It'll be ready when it's good. <laughs> It'll be ready when it's ready. Oh my god! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's the power of these glasses, it eh? Is. It's making. It's yeah. turning me into a douchebag. Um, <laughs> no, you know. No, in all in all fairness, though, yeah, the uh, the Star Swift. Uh, we do have season one. It's all recorded. It's all good. Uh, it is an amazing adventure, and I can't wait to share it with you guys. Mm. Um, we are waiting on a little bit of footage uh, from our uh, editor, who is going to be making uh, us a really awesome intro and stuff like that. So it's all about bringing you guys the best quality game uh, that we can. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned for that because that is going to be that is going to be awesome. Yeah, so I can't, I can't, yeah, I can't wait for it to come out either. It was a lot of fun to play in. Um, so we're on the loading screen now of this game, and this loading screen I've never played on this map, by the way. It always, <laughs> it always, it always crashes on this map. This game is very new; it's very fresh. Uh, I think it's going to be. It is a lot of fun when you get into it, but getting into it can sometimes be tricky. Now, now, when I look at this map straight up, I think you know, like, hey, Rings of Saturn. How come this isn't just called Uranus? I feel like you know, with the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. putting it out there, this it is not what does, Saturn's ring looks like. It certainly does. Uh... Oh, there we go. We're in. We're in. Fantastic. Ooh. I'm in the wrong ship. I've never flown in this ship before. This is not my ship. I don't know what I even do in this bloody ship. Okay, take us down. Take us down. Dive, 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 dive. I like how when you fly into buildings, your shields drop. Uh, Just in case. I don't even know where you are. Where are you? I, I haven't even I haven't even zoned in yet. I, I feel like I'm still. I you feel like we're going into ongoing. In. Yeah, I think I'm still. I think I'm still in. I think we got into a match in progress yes like we filled out some some quitters which is always fun you know nothing but nothing better than jumping into a game where people have already lost the will to live um <clears throat> launch count measures take evasive action we're going down all hands around the ship oh god i didn't even know what happened there that was quick yeah i don't even know what ship i'm in can i change my ship you can. Ooh, uh, oh god, I'm in, I'm also in a in a unknown ship. Ooh, I see allies. Taking them in. All right, where are you? Where are you? Where uh, are you? Give me your position. I am in space. Oh my god, you're one of those useful captains. <laughs> <I can see. laughs> uh, I am. I've engaged I am from... 11, 93, 76, 70, 82 at long range. Also engaging taking us in at maximum speed, but we're going to take some time to get there. Increasing thrust. Lowering to their altitude. They're going down. And we've sunk them. They're down. Ignore them. Huzzah! Huzzah. Targeting volunteer 23. They'll wish they hadn't. Firing missiles. Will we reduce them to dust? They've oh, they've walked. walked away. I hate oh. it. They that. Volunteer, they're behind you. Come about. They're behind you. At four. Ham Solo pulling up on your flank, Yannick. What? Get rid of him. I'll take out Volunteer 23. He won't survive. All right. Increase power to weaponry. Let's just obliterate him. He's gone. What's Engaging next? Saul through the rings. Where? Through the rings. Wait. Hostiles moving in through the rings. I've got 1193 in the rings. I don't see Saul. Um, 
pinging their position among the asteroids. I wish the map had a grid on it. Okay, he's gone. Uh, who's next? I've got a fre Fred do Freddy do Freddy do. Is that who you're talking about? I'm under attack. I'm trying to get out of here. Rise, 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 rise. Get us behind that. Negative. Sol is in the rings, currently being assisted by a. Oh, I think I got struck by a nuke. I'm going down. Guy! Abandoned oh, ship! Oh! Abandoned ship! Tell your crew to get out of there! Ham Solo, I see him switching to close range weaponry. He's down. Ham solo has gone. Just launched all my missiles at him as well. I wish he hadn't died that quickly, as a matter of fact. All right. I am going into the rings. That's where the enemy seems to be. I've got incoming missiles. Never mind. Ah, Decreasing. I have finally boarded my own spaceship. We are taking on 1193. They below us. Roger. Not for long. They're gone. All right. Uh, do you see volunteer again? I do. Target Mark. locked. Weapon systems at optimal levels. We're under attack by missiles. I don't think we're going to have... <laughs> Our shields are dropping, but we're okay. Volunteers going down. We're trying to come volunteers around. Volunteers warped. They've warped. Where have they gone? There we go. Directly in front Find of us. Me. No, it volunteers destroyed. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> okay, where's that? Soul on the far left. Soul far left. I don't see a soul. I see four squares. No, Jub Jub. Jub Jub is no good. You want solo. I've got solo on my sights. Still soul. Ham oh, solo I'm getting killed. Down. Ham Solo's gone. Where are you being attacked from? No, uh, from our power point. to shields. Georgie, I see a Georgie. Is that who you're talking about? No, S A U L. Evasive maneuvers, get us out of here! Power to shields, we're going down! Ah. The cell person, I have to find the cell person you <laughs> keep talking about. <laughs> Eyes on Jub Jub. Jub Jub. Eyes on Georgie. That's where we w I see Georgie coming in hot. We're going to increase speed and take us up. Come over above these bastards. Have you engaged Georgie? Uh, I've landed some pot shots, but nothing substantial. I'm on your six, Yannick. So you see volunteer in the rings. Georgie was out here somewhere. I yes, see Georgie. Georgie Georgie's there. below me. Firing missiles. Georgie's John. I see Saul. I finally have found your precious Saul. Thank <laughs> Christ. I've engaged Saul at long range, moving to intercepts. But I'm under attack. If you can provide any kind of support, that would be greatly appreciated. Roger. No, support, not rogering. That happens after we win the battle. Ah! I always get the two mixed up. It Fire happens when you side, mix business with pleasure. Destroy them. Hey, gone. Saul's gone. Victory! Victory. Another successful battle. Well Captain fought. Yannick. I wish I knew where the hell you were during that entire battle. I'm sure you were around somewhere. I was behind you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> firmly, um, firmly planted where your buttocks was. <laughs> of course, Saul won the day. You can always tell the longer-lived players because they're the ones that have got the caps on and the fancy dress and all that kind of stuff. I'm still wearing the perfect purple baby grow. Oh, there we go. Best of match. I like that. Best of team. Let's go back to I, I got perfect intermediary. Oh, lovely. Hmm. Yes. All right. Good. Back home. That was fantastic. That was. You know what I really love about this game is that it's not fast paced, but it is kind of fast paced at the same time. Mm. Your 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 engagements are are quick and 
just vicious and nasty and just violent. I like it. Mm. I, like it. I like it. Now, you used to play um, first-person shooters, is that right? What did, what did you used to play? I did, I did. Way uh, way back in the day, um, I mean, obviously there was Counter-Strike. Everyone played Counter-Strike. But my, my poison uh, originally was actually Ghost Recon and um, Star Wars Jedi Academy. Um, wow. And I know a lot of people say that that was kind of like a third person thing, but you know, I, I used to play like first person or third person. Right. Um, and they were a lot of fun. Um, I used to run with a couple of different squads. Um, my, my, probably my favorite squad was uh, the dragons, uh, which was really cool because it was, it was one of the first squads where everyone had sort of a role to play. And I like squads where everyone kind of had a skill set and work well together. Cause it's like an adventuring party. You know what I mean? Like, mm. Um, also, I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm in your game. I think I think I've just gotten thrown to the load screen. I'm loading up Ixion Knight Team Deathmatch. Uh, I'm on a main menu. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can't. Are you still um, in the squad? I don't know. I can't. I can't see anything. Let's see. Can you not launch the game? <coughs> Very pretty game. I mean, I haven't even got this on maximum settings either. No, you're not there. I've got volunteer. No. I've got a whole bunch of people here that, but you're not there. All right. Okay. So I'm gonna jump. Well, I think. I think. Yeah. I think it crashed mine, so I'm gonna have to quit and reload. I. I don't want to exit the game. All right. Well, that's what it's, it's the only option that's giving me. All right. So we've gone back to the desktop. You can see my horrendously messy desktop here on the stream. We're just checking. There's no nude pictures there of uh, my cat. <laughs> no, no nude pictures of the cat. Okay. Good. Uh, I'm just going to make uh, make sure of these things, you know. Um, anyway, yeah, so the game has just come out. I mean, I, 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 I really enjoy it. Um, mm. So, okay, so you did, you did, um, when was that? That was sort of 2006, 2005, Jedi. Yeah, 2005, yeah, 2005, 2006. That was when I, um, ooh, okay. Yeah, that's when I, um, I, I used to do those things. Um, it was a lot of fun, and I, um, and I really enjoyed it. I I think um, I think it, it, what what was what appealed to me more than anything else was the sense of camaraderie. You know, yes. it was that we got uh, we were a professional team, so we got up, we trained, uh, we spent a whole bunch of time like just getting to know the maps, the tactics, the strategies. Um, I think we had one of our guys because um, my role was the sharpshooter, and I um, I played that role very well. Um, and a lot of people mistake that for like the camping sniper or something like that but my two top kills always came from either a knife or a sniper rifle i was either too close or too far away uh i counteracted i counterattacked snipers when other teams had them and i secured locations objectives and stuff like that and that was that was my my role my my goal in the in the team um but we had this one guy who was the who's such a brilliant uh military mind and he would actually go through each and every map and he would label out and color code all the dangerous zones. Like, it, and so we actually could plot out ways to move through, um, move through areas. Uh, all right. So uh, invite me to a squad. I have already. I'll try again. Oh yep. Oh yep. There we go. No, no, no it's fine. It's you fine. It? The notifications are just kind of hidden. Yeah. Uh, yes. That's that's that is one thing about this is the the UI is a little bit shoddy. Um, hmm. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. So so you had this whole yeah. thing mapped out. Yeah. Yeah. What about uh, what about yourself, guy? I mean, obviously, uh, gaming uh, in general is a big part of your life as well. Uh, yes, absolutely. And I think you know, it's it's always been funny. Is that um, because I was a youngster when computers were were still sort of coming in. I mean, you know, I, I won't talk about the dinosaurs that I I used to play on um or get excited about a 50 megabyte hard drive type of thing you know i mean these this is the old the old days but the first online experience as a matter of fact first online multiplayer game i ever played uh was actually diablo one that had a, a yeah. matchmaking service in it you could sort of run around the, dun the the dungeons of diablo collectively or um um against one another um and uh, so so that was that was the sort of but that was in passing. The first actual focus game I used to play was Call of Duty 2, uh, which was the World War II one, which I still maintain is one of the better ones that they ever 
games. Um, do you ever play um, Battlefield? Oh, 18... 19, no, 1942. 1942. Oh, yeah, yeah 1942. Battlefield 1942. So, so, so competitively, we played Call of Duty 2, and then we played Call of Duty 4 when that came out. Um, and there, we we were also um, professional. We had sponsorship and that sort of thing. Um, hmm. uh, and in those days, you were you were choosing keyboards based on their latency response because, being in South Africa. There weren't any local South African servers, so you were connecting to to, to international servers. So you had to reduce every part of your computer had to be at the smallest possible uh, sort of delay because you had a three hundred millisecond delay anyway. <laughs> you know. So uh, anyway, uh, yeah. So Call of Duty, and we had training academies. I used to run the training academy. Um, I just sort of fell into it, um, where we had maps and. Uh, I think it was Tuesdays and Thursdays was training where um, I'll never forget our our commander and I mean this was 2004 uh, I've got eyes I'm under attack already I can't actually see this dude's name but I I, I, I see him I see him off in the distance yeah Pinging I him off Oblio Oblio I'm under fire I've got activating Dorica. shields launching missiles Got HDM. It looks like they're coming around. I wish this bloody map had a grid on it. Right, lowering altitude. They're coming around the east side. Lots of them. Yep, I see them. Oh, I hate the ship. Watch your rear. Oh, never mind. Oh, we're I'm going down. To... Yeah. I couldn't, a... get out... I couldn't get out of yeah. the way. Couldn't get out of the way. I mean, what I'm flying is a big ship. She's long. She's heavy. She could take a pounding, but yeah, she's not running anywhere. All right, so I'm going to try. All right, I'm going to try and get to you. I just have no idea where on earth you are. Uh, I can't even describe where I am. No, that's the thing. So they do need to put in a grid system. <laughs> it's like, report to... Do you see the tower? What tower? I am, I am uh, somewhere. Yes. Actually, we do have a reference point. Our mothership in this map. Uh, where are you in relation to the mothership? Are you near the mothership or are you far away from the mothership? Um, that's the, let's green, see. the green triangle. Uh, let's see. I am I am reasonably far away. I am northeast of the mothership. Northeast, yes. Uh, uh, hang on. From its point. Oh. Uh, from its point? Yeah, northeast. Oh, God, I'm kind of under heavy fire. making a complete balls of it with this. I'm just sliding my ship along the hull, the, the surface here. Oh, cheeky. HDM4320 is who I'm attacking. Is that a little craft? Yep. He's down. The Dodorakia is also... Un yeah, I'm attacking that one right now. No, I'm not seeing those. He's got no support. I got rid of someone. I don't know who it was. Weapons cooling. Okay, I'm heading. I am heading towards our mothership. All right. Uh, I'm almost done with this one. Yes, she is down. I see you, dead Aussie gamer. All right, I'm taking on casual gamer. <laughs> yeah. Dead gamer or casual gamer? Who's 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 better? I don't know. I see HDM. Well, casual gamer is gone. Yeah, but I see that you're coming under attack by HDM something or other. Yep, yep. Yeah, I'm trying to get a solution, a firing solution on them, but they are hiding. They are hiding because they're being attacked by Hunter as well. All right, moving forward. Yep. I'm okay. Ah, oh, brilliant. 
getting some support. Yeah, watch out. Obilio is um, to the east of the mothership in those canyons. Yep. All right. Do you want to head over? I want to take out uh, this idiot down here. Oh, recycling. Damn these weapons. Yes, we need to go and take him out. He's going to try and take out our mothership. So I'm breaking east. All right. Also breaking east. Hang on. I'm coming to attack from somewhere far away. No, Dorky is behind us. Dora Sierra, whatever the hell it's called. You All see right. him. I see you attacking someone. I do, someone. I do. Yep, that's uh, Obilio. Yeah, everyone's attacking Obilio. Okay, I'm going to try and protect you. On your left is someone who's attacking you. I've just got his name as Blocks. I don't know who the hell yep. they are. Oh, they're all coming in from the left. Watch yourself. Dive, 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 dive. Lower yourself diving. down. Diving, diving, diving. Oh, no. Can we extend the shields? Where's Abilio? Is Abilio down? Uh, Abilio is not down. He's not down, so he's still in those canyons. It's a trap! It's a trap! I think Marv might have taken him down. All right. All right. Rise. Life force restored, moving back around. Be careful, they're all out there. Literally, they are all down there. Aiming at the squared. Obilio is down there. He must have warped. Ori, yeah, Ori respawned. Oh, uh, Ori spawned, yeah. I see someone is trying to come in from the central space, the central area, uh, to on point of the mothership to the east again. Yep. All right. I'm right next to you on your flank. All right. So you see I'm breaking. Oh, he's, he's moving down behind us. Uh, we've got ships in front. We can't focus on them in the back. Fire One down. Casual gamer. Yep. Focusing fire on casual gamer. Yeah. Confirmed. My vultures are about to hit. <laughs> He's going to have a horrid day. Goodbye. Firing countermeasures now. Brace shields. Stand by for impacts. Casual game is down. Yep. Just beyond him is the Dordorcia. It's about to go down as well. Yeah, I got it. I see Oblio. Oblio is hiding in the background as well. Yep, I got gone. eyes. Yeah, I've got him. He's dead. And then 1439 is directly behind him. Shields holding, but... Oh, we're not. We're going down. Oh. Evasive actions. Jump us to speed now. Get us out of here. Oh. No, it brought me on top of the enemy. I'm coming, guy. <laughs> No! It's too late! Uh, I will avenge you. <laughs> we jumped right on top of the enemy. Uh. Alright, moving in as fast as we can. Increase uh, all powers of speed. Where the hell is everybody? Oh, I see you. You're all down there. Nice. Moving in. Focused on the Abilio. The Abilio. I'm not seeing the Abilio. I am seeing the victory. Yep. I'm seeing the victory. I'm seeing. I'm seeing, I'm seeing total victory. <laughs> <laughs> I far prefer this game to For Honor a game. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking <laughs> about, we've uh, played For Honor previously, and it was a whitewash. 
Well, mm. there we go. Some some nice uh, scores there from our fellow players. You can always yep, tell it's absolutely. whitewash when everybody in the top three comes from the same team. Yeah. Oh, best of match. Nice. I didn't get any Most... best of matches, but I did get above average, so I'm okay. All right, what did I get? I got... Um... Five assists. Boring. Most dreadnought damage, most you, energy used. How did you get most dreadnought damage? I didn't know that you were you were you were in a dreadnought. Oh, well, because I I don't think it put me in the in my um in your ship. Oh. In my ship. Yeah, so I took the I, I got the dreadnought. Um, four kills, no deaths, one assist. Whereas no master. Nice. Whereas master Yannick. Oh, died. <laughs> twice. <laughs> right. Well, just you know, say it out loud. That's fine. Um, it's not seeing okay. you as online. Isn't it? No, because I think you're still in the lobby of the other game. Oh, yeah, no, I'm going back now. So, there you go. Now I'm not in the other lobby. There you go. You see, it's not seeing any of my friends. And I think that's... Well, I'm already in your... I think it says I'm already in your squad. My squad has died. My squad has gone... Look at my squad. You can see it's just this weird level 22 thing. So oh, yeah, mine's mine. Mine's got. I think that. I think that's you up in the in the thing. Go to hit hit social. Yeah, I don't see anybody in social. Zero online, zero pending, zero offline, zero block. Oh yeah, me too. Ah, oh, strange. Oh wait, here we go. Oh no, there we go. Yeah, no, we are we are in the same squad. So I'm gonna hit. It just takes a takes a while. Oh, it does. Yeah. So do I just hit play? Uh, give it a go, and I'll let you know if it starts matchmaking. You know, if I start matchmaking too, because it hasn't started yet, does this from time to time. Still working out the kinks. I do love this game, though. I must admit, I really enjoy playing. If only because I get to scream and shout that we're going down and dive, dive, dive. Um, <laughs> um, you know, it's really weird because I mean, like, I, I think, I think for me, like, um, going back to what we were talking about with the whole first-person shooter thing, right. I love sniping, and for me, like, being quiet is like one of those natural instincts for me. Like when I aim. Right. Right. I like, you know, I'm trying to be as quiet as possible. I'm like, you know, and I mean, it, it doesn't make for a good, good, good stream to be honest, but, um, but it's a lot of fun. Um, especially when you get to that point where you can like, um, you get, you get in like this zone and just some of the shots you take can be like across the field, a uh, million miles away. And those moments are just absolutely perfect. And I love them to bits. Yes. Um, so to, to to ask you this, I mean, obviously you did your training and your sponsorship and stuff like that. Yeah. What was your role in your uh, your little entourage of uh, of gamers? That, you know, you know, in every squad, in every squad, <laughs> you need what I like to call a morale officer, and <laughs> that was my role. Um, I um, I used to to to, to in, in Call of Duty you had. Um, principally, you had your sniper, you had your heavy hitter, you had your fast and, and mo mobile, but it was teams of five. So there was always mm -hmm. one person who was left over that you could sort of assign as you needed to. And mm -hmm. I was always assigned basically as the, um, the soundboard. So my job was if there was diffuse a bomb or plant a bomb, I was the one who was responsible for planting and for diffuse. If there was a, if it was just a death match or if it was uh, sort of capture the flag, basically, I was responsible for letting my team know where the other people were. And principally, that was by being shot at. <laughs> so my online handle uh, it used to be, it's, it was Yannick, it still is Yannick, it's been Yannick forever. Um, but my nickname was Poodle because, like a poodle, I'd run around and get everyone to bark at me. Um, and that, that was my job. Uh, it, it, it didn't really work too well. I mean, we were we were part of a massive clan of players. I think there was about 100 people in the clan um, for the early days of the internet. That wasn't too bad. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, so, so that's what we did, basically, for that entire time. Uh, but the, the name Yannick actually comes from the first role-playing that I ever did online. And that was done via Stiffy Disk. Uh, we didn't have internet. One of the big companies had internet. And uh, a friend of mine, his dad, would uh, download the emails for the play-by-email and uh, put them onto a stiffy disk, bring them to me. I'd take them to school. I'd 
read them on, on stiffy disk and then respond and write back and that sort of thing. And that's where I came up with the name Yannick. Uh, where that came from, I haven't got a clue. Okay, so this matchmaking is not working. Oh, okay, so uh, how about you... Okay, let me, leave, let me leave the squad and then I'll invite you. Okay. So let me try that. So, squad... Uh, it took me a couple of seconds beforehand. So for those of you who are like trying to see what I've got on my screen through the reflection of my glasses, that is it's not helping. Not helping. I think this I think the social side's gone down. Oh, maybe. Because there's no global chat. I've got nothing coming in from you. It does this from time to time. You said it's still very early on, very new. I think they they launched too soon. Well, see, I feel like that's a that's a condition of um, of many games nowadays. Back in the day, and again, I'm gonna I'm gonna go full old man on this one. Yeah. Um, back in the day, you know, I'm talking about like the times when you were a kid and when you went and bought a video game, you 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 came with a backpack. Because your game came in this really long container yeah. that had like 30 different tiny square A drive floppy right, disks. Right. Now, back in those days, if you stuffed up, if you, if you made a mistake as a game developer, there was a product recall. That's right. That's and right. and, and you, you, you would basically owe a ton of money. And it was, it was death for yeah, like a yeah, lot of just, companies just to do that. Do it. Yeah. Right. Nowadays, with obviously the you know expansion of the internet, with how um, I think we need to restart again. To... Yeah, I think this service got that bit. Okay, Let, let's try. Let's try one more time. Yeah, we'll we'll we'll, we'll reset. Um, but yeah, the um, with the invention of like you know mass communication and the ability to obviously patch work through online servers and things like that, um, I feel like a lot of game developers have gotten lazy, or lazier, should I say? Um, I think I think they're not lazy in general, but that you can get to points where you're like, yeah, we know that there are these rough edges. We know that this is this will happen. Let's just launch it as an alpha test, and then let people play it. And you know, we can get some money, and then when we start getting revenue for it, we can fix those pa those right, problems. Right, right. I don't think it's laziness. I th I think it's it's the cost. To be honest with you, that's that's what I think it is. Um, is mm. is you look at those early games? You look at something like Diablo, um, which when it came out, I mean, there wasn't a patch. There, there wasn't. There, you didn't even think about that sort of thing. Um, mm. You know, um, but you look at the assets that went into that game. Uh, oh no, their servers are offline. Oh well, there we go. Um, if I can't connect now, I'm not able to connect. Um, you know, you look at the assets, assets were a little bit simpler, I suppose you could say. Uh, mm. But as opposed to today, where you've got so much stuff going on and, 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 and all that sort of... I, anyway, but I do think they released them too early. I definitely mm. think they released them too early. Uh, mm. And I think that, that they rely on the fact that you're going to be upgrading. Mm. Um, and you rely on the fact that, that people are going to go, oh, well, it's alpha test. It's supposed to fall over, you know. Mm. Oh, okay. you know. So I think that there's an apathy in terms of us as clients going, well, it falls over and, and, and we'll sort of stick with it. Mm. Um, you know, but I, I will never forget when um, Rome Total War 2 came out because I'm a huge fan of Rome, uh, of, of the Total War series. I'm not, I'm not good at playing them, but I, I'm a huge, a huge <laughs> fan of of them um and i went into the local computer store and i said listen can i buy a copy of uh rome total or two and i didn't know this at the time but that particular computer store was for sale um and the owner <laughs> said to me sign. well yeah you know the, the 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 owner um he said look it is actually better if you go onto steam and download it a it's cheaper than buying it from us mm. uh because they don't pay store fees but b you're going to buy the game, you're going to take it home, you're going to install all 20 gigs of it, and then you're going to download a 19 gig patch anyway. So mm. just go home and buy it at home. Go away. Mm. Um, and I remember I was, I was initially, I was one of those people who went, if I can't buy the discs plus the manual, I don't want it. You know, I mm. wanted the manual and the quality of the manual determined how good the game was. It was a nice thick manual. You knew you had a good game. Um, mm. 
but those days disappeared long ago gosh they did oh man i mean i mean i mean i i know i said you know like you know obviously game developers you know like the alpha testing being lazy and stuff like that i think i think lazy is you know as you say not the right word um i think i think it comes from a, an age where i i i used to I used to be an alpha tester on a couple of day, on a couple of games, and the thing is, is, I got paid to be an alpha tester. I've done it a few times, um, and being an alpha tester was about pushing the game, about pushing those limits and ironing out those bugs. And for me, I I struggle to validate the idea of alpha testing as something you purchase. Do you know what I mean? I severely struggle with that. Um, a game currently, uh, which is actually a lot of fun now, uh, was Seven Days to Die. And it was basically like zombie Minecraft. And uh, I didn't jump on the Minecraft wagon. I, I yeah. didn't do the whole, you know, it was just, I mean, it was cute. It was fine, but I I, I wasn't into it. But zombies, oh yeah, no, hey, sign me up. I was straight up into it. And it was an alpha test and a friend told me about it and he said, oh yeah, it's like 20 bucks for the alpha test or something like that. And I was like, wait, for the alpha? It's like, yeah, you sure you don't mean beta? It's like, no, no, the alpha. I'm like, they charge people for the alpha testing? So you, you they're, they're aware that the game at, at its alpha stage could flop at any second, right? Like you could be paying $20 for something you get to play like for right. the next three weeks and yeah. that's it. Yeah. Um, and that just staggered me. That that absolutely did. Sure. It uh, I, I I couldn't believe that that's currently now industry standard to um you know, to be able to do. It. Yeah, no, absolutely. And I, I I can imagine the conversation. Someone was sitting at the table going, "We need to raise ten thousand dollars to pay the salaries of these game designers. We can't do that. We've exhausted all opportunities." And someone goes, "Well, why don't we charge people to play an alpha?" Do you think we could do that? Do you honestly think we could do that? We usually pay people, you know. So that's where the conversation started. Someone tried it and it worked. And of course, with crowdfunding, of course, that does change your model, doesn't it? Mm. On the other yeah. hand, there are games out there, and I'm not going to mention any names whatsoever. Anyone who's on my Discord server knows this particular game that uh, <laughs> has been in development for the last four, four years. <laughs> Um, you know, people were saying, "Oh no, no, they've they've uh, recently they've just done a big big upgrade where they've now you can you can now get into the starship um, and and uh, you can actually walk around a street in one of the cities." Uh, no, they're making big strides, big strides. And I go, "Yes, in 2030, I'll be able to play this bloody game, which I paid for." In its alpha phase, it's still there. We don't have any control as to whether it's going to when it's going to come out of alpha. Um, and you kind of go, mm, there's a limit, I think, you know, I, I, anyway, I mean, that's, that's, that's just me. Anyway. No, I agree. I agree. I think, um, yeah, I think, I think it's an important thing, especially these discussions like about the games industry need to happen. Um, because I think a lot of people nowadays, and again, I do apologize if I'm being a bit cross, we're Australian, we don't care. Um, <laughs> a lot of people are very self-gratifying it's very much a me now 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 kind right. of consumer market so a lot of gamers get to that point where they're like oh i can get into the game now and there's this 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 idea that the game is ready the game is good to go and um, when it goes to that stage when it's crap all of a sudden it flops and because it flops that then turns into the social market of it and people don't go back to it when it's finally ready yeah. and it can crush a game just being able to do that, you know, and that's, that's the, that what I, yeah. that's what I think the alpha thing just doesn't sit well, in my opinion. I mean, like, uh, I, I can definitely see, I mean, I want game developers, developers to get paid. I want them to be able to do the creative things that everyone loves to do. Um, but, uh, and you know, I mean, hell, I mean, that's why we do Kickstarters and stuff like that, but sure. there's nothing worse than investing yes. something into a Kickstarter or investing yes. something into a, into a, uh, an alpha and just having that just disappear just, on you. Exactly right. Exactly right. Look, I mean, I'll be the first to, to admit I've had Dreadnought in my wish list for a long time. I've really been looking forward to this this game. Um, so when they said, "Okay, do you want to play it?" I was like, "Yes, t shut up and take my money." I haven't given them anything yet. Um, they had a free option, which obviously everyone is going to take. But uh, it, uh, well, I'd certainly stick with it uh, for as long as as long as it's around because I think it's a lot of fun. Whether the crowds will stay with it or not is another question. 
Uh, mm. I don't know. Anyway. All right. Well, it seems that our uh, multiplaying has come to a disastrous end here, but we did get to test it out a little bit. And, we did. Uh, we did get to have some pandemonium uh, and cause some mayhem. So thanks for joining me, Michael, as usual. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, hit the like button if you like what you see, and uh, hit the subscribe button if you want us to carry on doing this kind of stuff. Uh, we love uh, we love playing um, these kinds of games and talking nonsense. And um, yeah, anyway, until next time, I wish you and yours the very happiest of gaming. Goodbye. <laughs>